Hi there, I just wanted to make a quick video for you in regards to some troubleshooting steps that you can take if you're experiencing RAM or low memory performance issues when you're using After Effects. Sometimes when you are utilizing After Effects, you may get an error message that says something about low memory warning and letting you know that you might need to adjust your RAM settings. So let's just go through and talk about some things that we can do to hopefully circumvent that problem. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is inside of After Effects, you're gonna to wanna to go to your preferences. I am currently on a Mac, so my preferences are under the After Effects menu. I believe if you are on a PC, the preferences is located under the Edit or perhaps the File menu. Once you get to your preferences, you're gonna to want to go to Memory and Performance, and you're gonna to want to adjust the RAM that's reserved for other applications. So I would suggest making this as low as possible. Your system is going to go ahead and adjust it based on how much RAM is there and other sorts of issues. So for instance, if I type two, and hit tab or enter a return, it's going to adjust to six. That's as low as I can make it on my particular system. You may be able to adjust it down a little bit more. It just depends on your setup, but you're going to want to go ahead and change that. The other suggestion I have is to quit all of the other applications. So if you have a bunch of other applications open, go ahead and quit them so that all of the RAM can be used for After Effects and you're not gonna be using it in other programs. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to go to the Media and Cache section and you're going to want to empty your disk cache depending on how much stuff you have in there. It may take a few minutes. I don't really have that much, but I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna go ahead and empty my cache. In addition to that, you're gonna to wanna to click Clean Database and Cache, and you're gonna to wanna to run this as well. And again, the timing that that takes is gonna be dependent on your system. Then we're gonna to wanna to go up to the Previews section, and in the Preview section, we're gonna to wanna to change the Adaptive Resolution Limit to be as low as possible. So I would set this to either 1 8th or 1 16th, if you're having these problems, just go ahead and knock that all the way down. You'll go ahead and click OK, and we're not quite done yet. The next thing we're going to do is in our composition window, we're going to want to change our resolution from full or whatever it might be to something lower. So I suggest putting this at a quarter resolution. When you do this, you'll notice that your quality of your composition is going to degrade considerably. This is only in the preview window of After Effects. If you go ahead and export your project, you are still going to get a really high quality image, but you will want to work in this lower resolution setting so that you're going to be utilizing less resources and the program should work a little bit better. Finally, you're going to want to go up to your preview window and I'm going to need to expand mine so I can see all of the options. If your preview window is not open, just go to Window and select Preview to open it. And once again, we're going to want to adjust our resolution and we're going to want to bring this down to a lower value. So I'm going to set this to a quarter as well. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save and close your project. So I'll go ahead and just hit Save to save this. My project is currently called Demo, so I just resave this. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open a new project. So I'll just go to new project. This in turn is going to close my existing project. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to import in that project that we were just working on. So you can do that a couple of ways. You can go to file import and then you can navigate for that particular After Effects file or if you have the space on your computer and you can see your original file, you can simply grab the file and just drag it into your project window. Either way is going to import it and once it's been imported into After Effects in the project window, you're going to see a folder. I'm going to open that folder and I'll go into compositions and I'll just select the composition that I'm working on. 
I was currently working on Flamingo 2, so I'll open that up. All of the compositions that are part of this project are gonna be imported, so I could work on other compositions. And once you've done this, you're going to want to save the project. So I'm gonna to go to File, I'll hit Save, and I'm just gonna do Save As. I haven't saved it. As you can see, it's an untitled project, but I will click Save As. I'm going to save it in the same location, and I'll just go ahead and rename this demo too. And hopefully now you will be able to use After Effects and you won't experience any problems. Now, if this set of steps does not resolve your issue, I do have one other suggestion. So the next thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to want to open my Creative Cloud settings. And I currently have two versions of After Effects. I've already installed this lower version, but you probably will just have the current version. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is come to the three dots right here where it says more actions. You're gonna to wanna to select other versions and you're gonna to want to navigate down to After Effects 22.1.1 and you're gonna click the install button which is gonna look like this. Obviously I've already installed it so mine says uninstall. You'll click the install button and depending on your connection that you know might take five or 10 minutes to install. While it's installing, you can go back to the current version of After Effects. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save our project down as an earlier version. So we're basically downgrading to a earlier version of After Effects. We're gonna to go to File, Save As, and I'm gonna click Save a Copy as 22.x. And once I do that, it's gonna ask me where I wanna save this. I'm just gonna change the name here and we'll name this demo 2-version22, so we know this is the earlier version. I'll save this project in the same place. I'll click Save to save that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quit After Effects. You're gonna to wanna to verify that the older version that we just installed is completely done. So if you see the open button, you know that it's completed the install, process and then you're going to want to restart your computer so go ahead and just restart your computer and then once you've done that you'll come back to creative cloud or wherever your applications are and you're going to want to open that earlier version of after effects so now i'm opening version 22.1.1 and i'm simply going to click open project i'm going to find that version 22 that we had created, I'll click open. And this is gonna open the exact same project. You'll still have the exact same sort of functionality. Your project should work in the exact same way and you'll be able to continue working. Hopefully one of these suggestions is going to help you. I would first go through the first set of instructions that I shared with you. And if that doesn't work, then try installing this earlier version of After Effects to see if this resolves your issue. But I believe one of these should eliminate that error message that you're getting. I hope you find this helpful and have a great day.